The stained statue still looms large on campus. Calls for its removal culminated in robust public hearings. The University Council and the Stain family then approved the relocation of the statue to a site of campus. The SRC says that this was meant to happen in April. We, we believe that there are delay tactics, but as the SRC will remain resolute, the statue must go because the statue does not speak to the current demographics of the institution. And you remember very well, why was it here in the first place? And does it still speak to as to why it was here in the first place? Which is definitely not true. But appeals were lodged against the removal of the statue. Uh, we then went on appeal. Uh, the Free State Center, uh, the Free State Heritage Resources uh, Authority then appointed an appeals committee. The appeals committee, after a long process, actually upheld the appeals of the three parties, which meant that the outcome is that the empty stain statue uh, could not be relocated and should stay at the, uh, uh, on, on, on the campus of the University of the Free State. The University of the Free State obviously will have then decided that we're going to challenge that appeal. Views remain mixed. I think it's important that it is removed because it's not, it's upsetting a lot of people and it's not fair to be reminded of the past. And the wishes of the majority should prevail in a, dem in a democracy. You can't just move your history and change it as you see fit. I think that the statue should remain here because it is part of history. The university says it will now approach the MEC for Arts, Culture and Recreation in a bid to resolve the issue. Makhalama Siteng, SABC News, Bloemfontein.